Welcome to another Know Your Universe right here at Comic Storian, where we take a couple of minutes and try to turn you into a pseudo-expert of your favorite superhero. So today we're going to explore the origins and history of the character known as Shang-Chi. And yes, I know, for years we've all pronounced it Shang-Chi, and the movies and trailers are now pronouncing it Shang-Chi. Known as the Master of Kung Fu, Shang-Chi was first created by Steven Englehart and Jim Starlin. He made his first appearance in Special Marvel Edition number 15 in 1973 and was created as the son of the pulp villain Dr. Fu Manchu after Marvel lost the rights to create comics based on the TV series Kung Fu. Most of Shang-Chi's original supporting cast were actually characters from the old pulp series, though when Marvel lost the rights to use the established characters, they created other supporting casts for their original creation. The character of Shang-Chi was created by Marvel as a response to the rise of martial arts in the United States states during the 70s. And because of this, the special Marvel edition was renamed to The Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu. This series would then feature several other martial arts characters. Shang-Chi then proved popular enough that he would receive his own series in the 80s. In his original origin, he was the son of Fu Manchu. Trained in combat from birth, he believed his father to be a true hero and went on several missions for him. When he discovered that his father was actually an international terrorist, he goes on to work with MI6 to fight against his father, eventually working alongside his allies to format a private spy organization. Shang-Chi would then eventually come to America to join the group known as the Heroes for Hire. He would continue to work alongside some of Earth's mightiest heroes, even joining the Avengers at one point when recruited by Captain America. Shang-Chi Shang-Chi's life would be spent helping the heroes of the world fight against some of its greatest villains, taking part in major events such as Spider Island, Secret Empire, and the War of Realms. Ahead of the upcoming movie release, his origins were slightly revamped. After deciding that he wanted to lead a normal life, he returned to the United States and settled down in San Francisco. He quickly returned to his spy life when he was contacted by MI6 and informed that his father's organization, the Five Weapon Society, is active once more. He's attacked by members of the organization and saved by his half-siblings, Sister Dagger and Brother Saber. Shang-Chi discovers that he is chosen by the spirit of his father to become the leader of the Five Weapon Society. He must then return to his place of birth to fight against his sister, who has taken control of the five weapons by force. After defeating her and forcing her to see their father for who he truly was, Shang-Chi takes control of the five weapons and promises to turn it into a force of good. He would then go on to take part in the tournament to become the next host of the Phoenix, managing to defeat Hyperion in his fistfight. Currently, he splits his time aiding the superhero community while still leading the Five Weapon Society. With this upcoming movie, it will mark the character's first appearance in live action. Since this Know Your Universe is a little bit shorter, I did want to mention one of my favorite things about Shang-Chi. I remember him briefly showing up during his appearance in Spider Island, like I said, because Spider-Man had lost his spider sense, so he needed to learn how to properly fight, and he was being trained by Shang-Chi. It's one of my favorite moments of the character throughout the years. Sadly, he hasn't been used that much because he was basically a 1970s character when that whole Kung Fu phase had kind of passed on, so did Shang-Chi. He didn't really show up that much. So he's just another character that the MCU is deep diving into the history of comics to bring forth and bring into the proper light and give a proper origin and be treated properly. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your continued support right here at Comic Storian. Don't forget to check us out weekly for more comic book stories, history, and origins read back to you dramatically. And check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash comicstorian.